can see, um, I've got a hot mess <laughs> over there where I normally work on all my stuff for, um, that I sell for you guys. And then I have all my Christmas stuff here. Yay. Um, so today <laughs> we're going to decorate. Um, I did a few things off camera because they were time consuming and I didn't want to, you know, take up too much time. Um, first of all, this is the tree I got from the Dollar Tree. It's cute and small and I didn't need anything huge because it's just me, um, uh, in this house. Um, and then I got, uh, one of the wreaths that was the same color as the tree to help fill it in to look a little bit thicker because, I mean, it was only a dollar, so I didn't do that great. Um, and then I got my big box that I've been having around for like ever. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I just throw it away. And then I covered it in wrapping paper to set a little mini scene inside with my Christmas tree and all my stuff. So it's all contained in one area because as you guys can see, I don't really have a lot of space to work with. But I was like, I need to get my Christmas on, which is really funny because I am not Christian. Or any kind of religious um, situation. It's just kind of, it's part of the season. I grew up doing it. Um, I'm just always going to do it kind of thing. Um, so everything that I have got for this is from the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree. Most of it's from the Dollar Tree. Um, including my Princess Santa hat. It's so cute. It's, it's. So cute. Um, so I guess let's just get into it. Um, I'm gonna turn this way so you guys can see me. I don't have my camera set up in the best angle right now because of reason stuff and things. Um, <laughs> oh goodness gracious, it's just I'm working with such a small space right now, and um, because I've got everything out, because I've got presents all on that side of the room, I've got um, you know, crafting on this side of the room, and I've got this mini space, and this, it's all going to go in this little box, it's going to sit right there in front of that shelf that I don't use that often, but I'm actually going to have to move it in a little bit, because I've got a, a Christmas dress I have to sew, so I've got to move that to get to all my sewing supplies, it's going to be, it's going to be grand, it's going to be grand, it's going to be grand, I hope I hit record, <sighs> okay, I did, all right, we're good, We've got recording going. Um, let's just get into it. Um, so this I actually got a while ago, and I've been using it for another thing. But it's a. Uh, I should hold it up to me so you guys can actually see it. It's uh, and I did get these to the ninety nine cent store, but they were three ninety nine, I believe. Like I said, I got them a while ago, so I'm not sure. But it's uh, little fairy lights that are operated by a battery. And I was looking for some because I saw the Dollar Tree had them not too long ago, but I was like, I don't know what I'm going to need those for. And um, so I was looking for them there, and now that I need them, they're not there. So this is what we're going to start with because, you know, every bare bone um, basic of a tree is its lights. So <laughs> Wait. I'm going to try work over here where you guys can see. And we're going to start with this, and we're going to work it around this way. <laughs> and the reason, also, because I'm setting it up inside the box, is because I'm clumsy. I knock things over, I trip over things, I run into things, and so I feel like if I set it up inside the box, I'm less likely to run into it and knock it over and then have to start decorating it all over again. So <laughs> that's another reason it's going in the box. This is really long, and that's another reason I wanted to look for the other one I saw at Dollar Tree because it was not as long. I guess I should sing Christmas carols while I do this. I was going to put on nondescript Christmas music, but I couldn't figure out exactly where to do that from. So, oh no, what's that tangle? Um, Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree! <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't sing like that. I'm just kidding, I actually sing like that a lot, but that's only because I'm trying to be hilarious to myself. A lot of the times I sing like that to amuse myself, because everybody else hates it. And I don't understand why, I have such a beautiful angelic voice! So perfect and amazing! <laughs> Alright. I got this whole thing about it. I should have made this. I should have organized this better. We'll put a pause in. While I untangle this. I'm going to just fast forward the scene. 
Come on, there's nothing wrong with something here. What's going on? Like I said, I'm going to destroy this place. Do, 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 I don't know where you're taking that anymore. What can I say? By the way, I love um, Bette Miller's rendition of that um, song. I love Bette Miller's anything. Mittler's, 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 Miller's. It's definitely Mitter, right? Bette Mittler. I just said it's definitely one thing and pronounced it another thing. You guys, I don't know how to say people's names, but she was the one who played Winifred in um, Hocus Pocus. She was also in a lot of amazing movies from the early 80s that I can remember growing up to. And right into the 90s. And she did some great stuff. I mean, she did she does shows still. She makes music. She's so talented. I'm not talking about Betty White. I'm talking about Miller. Mittler. Miller. Mittler. Miller. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Christmas makes me so frustrated. <laughs> I don't even celebrate, you guys. Well, I mean, I do celebrate Christmas. My family and friends celebrate it, and I go and I give gifts and stuff like that. I think that's what's really important part for me is not necessarily the gift giving, but, you know, making people happy. Um, And so that's what I do. I go out and I make people happy. I give gifts. I, you know, spend time with my friends. Um, This is a lot. And then I'm going to unwind this later so I can put it back on the other project I use it for. But I think I showed you guys before is my mini lights. Um, Diffusers that I made. Um. They were really easy to make, too. Like I said, I just bought this wire, put it in there, put it in an aluminum pan, and I, it's, I swear, it's so bright. And I use that for when I take pictures for you guys that are my pervy friends, my little pervy clubbies, um, or, you know, just to add an extra to some of my recordings, but nothing about my recent recordings has had any kind of oomph for uh, debonair or anything like that. I need to get my hot glue gun ready. You guys, I'm not prepared for this episode at all because I just remember the next step is my garland, and I need, the way I'm going to make that is a very specific way, blah, 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 stuff and things, which is kind of what originally um, inspired the whole theme of my Christmas tree, is the way I decided, or the um, first item I decided on. God, there's still so much wire. This shit's super lit. It's super lit. But it's not done. So. How <laughs> those decorate for Christmas? They just complain the whole time. No, I just want the presents. I don't care. All this should be done for me. <laughs> Why is there still so much? It does look really good, though. Like, I'm really excited that it looks super cute all lit up. My, this is a very small tree, so it's not going to get like, tons of decorations on it. It's going to be mostly lights and then some orbs. And then I have a little star that I'm going to put on it, but it's also found out that the star is uh, a little bit too big to fit in the box, so it's just going to hang out in the top branches, which I'm okay with anyways because um, I didn't know how sturdy it would be hanging up out here, so I'm just going like, to lay it right there. It's going to be an adventure. We're going to have an adventure, you guys. I'm going to hit myself later when I take these down. These lights. Where did that even start? Oh my god, I still have so much lights. Okay. Yay! Let's give it a light and see what I got. Ooh. Okay, so turn that off. Another thing that I was really excited to get is I got a tin of cookies with the reindeer on it. It's so cute. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the reindeer is probably my favorite little Christmas symbolism. Um, anyways, so uh, I got this garland because it's super cute. It's got stars and it's fluffy and silver. And the color theme for my Christmas was red and silver. Um, and then I kind of, uh, got some items that had green in it like this. Well, this one's going to be on the outside of the box. It's not going to hang on the inside. These are the ones that are going to hang on the inside. And I found these two headbands that, um, I'm going to take one of the decorations off of each to glue to the stocking. So I need to get my hot glue ready. Um, and these ones are going to be for me and daddy's stockings that are going to go in beside my Christmas tree. And I have packs to do that as well. So, but, um, this is the first item I picked out for my Christmas tree. I saw that, like, I was walking through the Dollar Tree. I didn't care. I was like, oh, I can do without Christmas decorations. It's going to be fine. You know, it's okay. Um, and my Christmas tree is always white. So I was really um, excited to find that. But, um, I saw these little sparkly red flowers. And I'm like, oh my God, those would look so cute in my red, in my white Christmas tree. And then I was like... Oh my god. I have to do it. I have to do it, you guys. So, I, I went a little crazy. I spent about, um, I think all together, I may have spent around $40, but I didn't get just the Christmas decorations. I got some other things, like a little bit of knick-knack Christmas stocking stuffers, things like that. But I did go a little bit more crazy than I expected. I was like, ah, I'll spend like a couple dollars, like $10 to get a little bit of decorations. And I was like, kept getting ideas and ideas and ideas, and then it just spiraled out of control. And here we are, making a YouTube video. Um, <laughs> so, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to, first thing I should really do, so I don't have another light mishap situation, because this is 20 feet, and I'm definitely not going to need that much for this little tree, is I should probably, okay, I 
think I opened it from the other side because I pre-opened some of this stuff so I was like I wouldn't have to struggle on camera and look at me still struggling on camera well I never okay so um <laughs> I'm gonna pre-measure how much of this should go around my tree so I don't have all these lighting situations again and oh no oh no okay let me stand on that side and this does have a little thin wire in it, so it's going to be um, shapeable and stuff like that, and it'll stay. So I'm going to try to pre-measure how much goes around the tree. That looks good. I'm going to add a little bit more so I can get it all the way around and have like another one. Actually, no, not one more. Just all the way around. So I'm going to have this here in this little apartment, and these are also from the Dollar Tree. I've had those forever. I always buy all those um, janky scissors for, like, I have crazy projects. Like, when I was cutting um, the wreath that I've misplaced already, right here. You know, I have tons of sewing scissors, but I'm not going to take my good scissors to thick wire like this. So I had um, these uh, gardening shears that I bought from the Dollar Tree, and those worked wonders. These ones here. And I and like I just put it on the edge, on the edge right there, and just clipped it right off, and it snips and snips away. Okay. So now that I have my garland measured, get in here. Um... Actually, I might use this to decorate the outside of the box more, too, since I have so much left over. Um, now that I have it measured and I know how much I'm going to need, um, you know, I might know I don't want to put it on and hot glue it because it might glue to my lights. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these flower heads directly onto the garland so that I um, have some... Uh, cute decorations but these don't have like um hooks or anything so these are gonna go on and these are my main decoration and that, that's where i should have stopped i would have been like lights garland flowers very simple tree and i was like nope i need some decoration decorations so i've got those too because i'm crazy all right, I'm gonna give it a pause, get my um, hot glue warmed up, and then get uh, everything. Oh, I also found this reindeer. So cute, just put on my tree. I have, you know, you're gonna see all this in a minute when I get it um, ready to pack it all in. So, and then I'm gonna set up everything to make my stockings. I'm gonna get those removed, and yeah. Um, it's gonna be a situation. <laughs> all right, we're back. Um, so I couldn't find my, um, actual glue gun, so I got my little rinky-dink mini glue gun out, and I got this from the 99 cent store as well. Um, I know you can't see all of it because it's out of the camera, but what I did is I stretched out my garland, and then I placed my flowers around it in equal-ish kind of distances to decide where it's going to get glued down. And so I'll glue it down, and then I'll pull it, and then I'll glue, pull, glue, glue. But um, I left this long bit here to go around the top of the tree because I don't want anything here to lock the star. So there's a long empty space first. And um, I also have this uh, glitter. Um, I have a silver one too, so I might get that down. But I have glitter glue sticks um, for my mini glue gun, which I, w I forgot, honestly, I had. So I was like, okay, well that's good because then I can write my names on my stockings later with the glue gun and it's not got a precise nozzle like my big one does but my big butt one doesn't have glitter glue sticks so you know it's a win-lose situation i also got my um my stockings open and then i pulled the uh the little buddies off my ears to put on my stockings i'm gonna glue them on and have fun go crazy kind of situation <laughs> all right and if you guys want to know how i remove those I literally, it's just glued on, so you just peel it right up. Ta-da. Ta-da. Okay. And then, as you guys saw earlier on camera, to remove the flowers, I just pull them up because they're just stuck on these uh, um, little spikes because they have grippy things. Sometimes they're glued, but it's very rare that they're glued, so they usually just pull right up. Let's get started. And I'm working on um, parchment paper or wax paper. Um, I'm pretty sure this is parchment paper, um, so I don't glue down anything to my floor. Get the glue and stick it on. Okay. 
Yeah, never met anybody who had to be so extra about decorating a mini Christmas tree. I'm sure you haven't. I'm sure I'm the only one that's making all this fuss. Oh shit, I gotta pull slowly. I forgot, or I'm gonna lose the flowers. In the order that I put them down in. Gotta pull slowly. You guys, I'm really bad at singing. I haven't had to sing since I was in choir um, for anybody, so now only the people who have to suffer through me singing while they ride with me long distances in my car really hear me sing. <laughs> Where they can't get away. I've lost my glue. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Never mind. It's right here. So the, the planting of the flowers kind of actually helped, but also didn't at all because it keep going off the thing as I pull it, but you know, it's helping me still spatially a little. Probably make this thing different now. Okay, now we have them all on my little map. I'm gonna be so mad by the way if um when I watch this later while I'm reviewing it, you can't see anything I'm doing. I don't know why you wouldn't because in the camera view you can see all that. So if you see all that, you should definitely be able to see all this, but I'm just saying. <laughs> That would be my luck. Just burn this is why you guys don't actually need to be touching the bottom of this. I don't know why I decided to do it that time, but don't. You'll burn yourself. And this is a high-tech glue gun, so yeah, that burned really bad. I'm just so used to being burnt by hot glue. I'm just like, eh, whatever. I should see if I burn myself again because I forgot where my glue was. I don't have any glue while I got this out. What did I think of? Myself, yeah. Also, not a Christmas song. Oh, Christmas tree! Oh, Christmas tree! <laughs> you guys are gonna abandon me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, puppies. I know. I could do better. I say that like I have an amazing singing voice somewhere in me. I don't. I just know I can do slightly better. <laughs> See, and this is another reason because this is like this is a cheapo um glue gun, so it constantly leaks hot glue. That's another reason you do it on the parchment paper. So all those um leaks it gets, it just um. When it dries, it pearls up, and you can peel it off, or you can leave it on and throw the whole parchment paper away. I mean, it's really up to you. But uh, that's how you make a poinsettia garland. Do -do -do. And I'm going to wrap this around my tree, and it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be outrageous. Ah, so freaking cute. Ah, can't even with myself right now. We're going to make these ones here. This one's going to be my little baby daddies. So, I'm just gonna put glue all over the back of this because you know, we gotta get to that glitter part. So, we can write our names. Okay. And we're gonna press it. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so stinky cute. Should I glue those down? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's fine. All right. But yeah. Sorry, the people who uh, manufactured this have hot glue all over the front of it. And I just noticed right now, I'm like, man, maybe I should have picked one that was in better shape. But I mean, now that I feel it all the way, it looks fine. It looks super cute. Super cute. So good. All right, and then this one's daddy because he's, he's fat Santa. I mean, he's not fat or Santa, but daddy's fat Santa. Uh, oh, I got through the glitter part. Okay, I got there a lot faster than I expected. Ah, so cute! All right, so let's write daddy's name first and someone daddy's up. Okay, there's his. <laughs> when we set that up there to dry, so I don't accidentally dip my fingers in it because I will. That's the kind of what I have. Especially after I did all that work in it, it kind of turned out kind of cute. I don't want to put my fingers in it. And I showed you guys in episodes before, like I think it was like maybe a third or fourth episode, or um, when I ever did, not to pull loose strings. This one had loose strings, so I actually followed my own instruction that time and cut it loose rather than try to um. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Okay. I just had a whole pack of glue sticks right here. What did I do with them? I'm back. I did it again with another glue stick. <laughs> I don't know if I should do this with my hand. I'm gonna do it another my time. So 
Why is that there? Okay, go back. Oh, it's And then there's mine. Okay. Daddy's looks messed up. It's not working. I might try to peel it off when we do it later. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. Just leave it alone for right now. Let it dry and see how it turns out. Um, am I done with my glue gun? I think I'm done with my glue gun. Yes. So, 50 first. We're going to unplug it. Uh, all right. So, <laughs> we have our garland. And we're going to put it together and see how it looks. It's coming together nicely. And you know what? Like I said, I mean, all I really needed was the garland and the poinsettias. I didn't need to do anything else. And this would have been a nice tree, but no, I have to be extra AF. You know what? I have some metallic markers so I can write on some of these ornaments, like names and stuff. So I can put like Merry Christmas and stuff like that. See, and this is why I don't need to be um, <laughs> decorating anything because I get so extra. So damn extra, you guys. Okay, which one? I like this side because it's at this up front, but the point that is well mostly on the other side, so I think that might be the front of the tree. No, I think this is gonna be the front. I think this is fine. I think I'll keep this as the front of my tree. Yeah, bam, front of the tree. So um now that we've decided the front of the tree, we'll decide where all the decorations lie on it. Um and let's turn it on for just think it looks, oh my god, look how cute. Look how cute. Oh god, I can't even look how adorable it is. And I also bought a little tree skirt and a little um teeny train to go around the bottom of the tree because like I said, I'm extra. And then um I have these ornaments. And actually, I think I am going to get out those metallic markers so I can write on some of them. At least the glittery ones. I don't know. And then, who knows? And by the way, this is my headband, and all these light up, too. I don't know how bright it's going to be, because I've not even turned it on once. But let's see if you can tell. Oh, wait. Oh, is it a push button? It's a push button. Okay, I was trying to switch it, but it's a push button. Oh, no. I think the batteries are dead, or something's going on, so I'll get into that later and we'll find out that works or not. But right now, it doesn't work. But either way, it's still really cute, even if it doesn't light up. Okay, um, and this is my cookie tin that's gonna sit with my Christmas tree and um, my reindeer. It's gonna chill there. It's a Christmas ornament, but I cannot hang this from this tiny tree, obviously, so it's just gonna chill beside it. Okay. Like inside my little box, it's gonna chill. I'm gonna figure out a way to make it stand up. I might glue it down, or at least glue um, a stand to it. Maybe I'll spread its legs a little bit and it'll stay. Okay, kind of. We'll, we'll work it out. Let's see. There, stand up. Okay, I don't know if you guys can actually see it because it's technically behind a tree and. Hold that, but yeah, there he goes. I guess I should name him too. I don't know. I'll name him later. All right. So this is my uh, Christmas tree star, and it's also a decoration, but obviously I can't hang it from my tree, and also I don't want to hang it from my tree. So I need a few different things to make this work, like this, and I need my pliers, which I know are over there, but I cannot currently see. There they are. Get out of my way. Okay, no, they're not. Where are my pliers? Oh, JK, I'm moving down here because I don't need them. So I'm going to remove this bell, which is a really pretty color. Oh, actually, this is, it's on a jump ring, so I just need to unwind it. First things first, I get the bell off my little Christmas tree star, and I'm gonna decide where it's gonna go. So, like right there. But as you guys can see, that happens, so what we're gonna do is take some of our hooks and make it work. Because teamwork makes the ring work. I don't know how long this video is, but it feels like a cup of tea. Get it. It's okay, I know you guys don't hear me saying it anyways. Well, that horrible thing I did before. Okay. So, um, once you decide where it's gonna be, it's gonna be like right there. It's gonna be a little bit higher, so it actually has things. And lucky me, I have all these little holes in it already, so um, it's gonna make my life a little bit easier. But uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cheat your way through life. Actually, I'm gonna put it here and just spin it around there. Um, like I said, you're going to cheat your way through life by first attaching this where you want it and twisting it in. Come on. And in order to have this sit on the very top of the tree like I was going to, it's going to take a lot, a lot, a lot of wiring. So I'm glad that we decided, when I say we, I mean this box that I have, decided that we can't put that on top of the tree. All right. And then we're going to do that again for the top one. Oh, okay, whatever. Do what you do. Um, and I'm going to do that by leaving it with these little holes here. Work. All right, 
this is becoming something else. Get in there. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to wrap it around the top of my tree. So bad, okay. And now we're gonna position my tree cover. So it looks like it's the top of my tree, just chilling. There we go. There we go. Sitting at the top of my tree, in the front of my tree. So yay. Um, okay. I'm trying to think of where I put my metallic markers. I know where they are, but I don't know where the thing they're in is. I think it's over there. I don't know. I might just skip it, or I might go back later with them. Oh, goodness. And right on them, but for now, let's just pick a few ornaments from my tree. I was really sad because, okay, first of all, it took me forever to find the um, red ones in this size with this selection, like, because it has different um, shapes. But um, also, they have gold tips. And I, I thought about for a long time, like, oh, I'll just paint over it with screen polish. I'm like, I'm not trying to be that extra. So um, they do have gold tips, so there's a little bit of sadness there, but it's not like a huge noticeable thing. And um, as you guys can tree see, my tree's um, theme is red and silver. So gold is kind of bleh. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that, like, in the beginning of the video, too. Yay, yeah, ornaments. All right. And they come with this tacky gold wire, um, not wire, but string to tie them all, but that's why I bought these hooks, because I'm not tying anything. And to make sure that I'm balanced in my ornament placement, I'm going to put the red ants over on the same time, because balance is important to a Christmas tree, so it looks tacky. And my family has never, like, you know, some families where they uh, decorate only the front side of the tree, this visible literally decorated all the way around, even if it was in a corner. We put it, yeah. But our tree was also really big going up, because there was a lot of us and a lot of us. I know you guys are getting tired of hearing me talk. They're like, oh god, why am I subscribed to this girl? If you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed, yeah! So you can later on be like, why am I subscribed? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribed. <laughs> I need to make dog. To this girl. Whew. Here we go. It's not Christmas without eggnog. I like love eggnog, but I can't drink a lot of it at once because it's so thick and tastes so strong. I mean, it's definitely something that needs to be cut with alcohol, so I can understand that. Um, <laughs> and I definitely pour some like vodka or rum or whatever you guys put in eggnog up in that bitch. In my cussy world. I bet this is like a three hour video already. I don't know. I don't know how long I've been doing this. I have no concept of time. I was talking to my brother the other day. We were talking about how we're all always late. And he's like, I don't know. I just have a problem with Thor. I don't want to be there on time. It just feels like I don't want to have to have to be there. I want to have the option to be there, you know? And I'm like, no, I actually do not know that because I have no concept of time. And that's why I'm late. Because I don't understand anything about how time flows. It's a man made construct, anyways. There's no such thing as time. Okay. Let's start with. Oh, my glittery balls have a, a dent in it. Since I've got that one. Imperfection is okay. I'm going to bend, bend, bend. Like a paper clip because I don't want to hang too long. I'm gonna work it onto a limb. Oh my god, it's so sticking cute. Oh my god! Yes, okay. And. I think it should bend before I put a. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll bend it before I put a ornament on it. I'm just gonna go here. Yes. Oh! Yay, I have Christmas tree! Out of the tree. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bees sting, when I'm feeling sad. It simply is one of my favorite things. And then I don't feel so sad. Alright, I have one of these. Let's use this cheap one. Okay, first of all, it needs to be red. Let's get a good balance. Okay, so we're gonna use the red glitter. But then this one's glitter. This is hard. <laughs> It'll be okay, we'll still use the glitter. Do, 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 do. I'm loving it because there's nothing more Christmas than McDonald's. Unless you're in Japan, then it's KFC. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, okay. A bend. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hang this in the middle of that one. Right here? No, we'll just use this. Okay, cool. We'll just finish right in front of the point So, back here. Oh my god, he's so cute with his little ornaments. I need one maybe around here, fill this space. Yeah. So let's do this one. Yeah, we'll do that one. And I don't mind if that's red. Okay, so Little Drummer Boy is my favorite Christmas song. I don't know who like doesn't have that as a favorite Christmas song, but I mean to say it's the best Christmas song ever. But I also found out that Angela from um, The Office, that's her favorite Christmas song, and I'm like, mm, I don't know how I feel about liking that song anymore. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm 
has a good balance. Yeah. So let's rotate it. Put some more ornaments on the back. Yeah, definitely one like right there. Mm -hmm. This one. That's kind of what I love about artificial trees, by the way, is when a limb is not exactly where you want it to hang something, you can just move it over and be like, okay, this is where you go now. And, you know, it doesn't kill forests in order to satisfy your pagan needs. By the way, Christmas is a pagan holiday, if you guys have not figured that out in all this time. I love how I started, I, I don't really, I'm not really Christian. And I'm like, Christmas is a pagan holiday. Not pagan either. <laughs> I'm not anything, I'm agnostic. I believe in a higher power, but I don't know what that is. And I genuinely just decide that you know, there is an afterlife, there is something that happens to us, but I don't know what that is either. So really what I'm saying is I don't know anything, and so I just try to do my best to be good, as well as, um, helpful. Mm, I don't want this one to be that close to that, so I want something to know. Mm. Do you know how I feel about that? Whatever. We'll just hold that off and put another one there. No, I want this instead? No, I want this instead. Okay. Shame. There's nothing more Christmas than Marshall Mathers! Yeah, my singing voice is terrible and I know it. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep singing. Yeah. Because there's nothing you can do to stop me except for press pause. Pause, 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 pause. Can't find no to save my life. And this is the day I decide I'm gonna sing a lot, of course. That's how it always goes. Like, oh, you don't know where your note is? You don't have a pitch? You can't find your tune? This is the day you need to sing. Okay, you know what? Should I put this one right here? I'm gonna put this one right here. Also, my family um, is considered tacky and bad luck to hang anything on the very bottom branches. I mean, for obvious reasons, like, you know, animals and crazy children and all that, but... Uh, so we don't put ornaments on the very bottom branches. Christmas is also a very weird holiday in my house because my mom is the only one in the family left who is Christian. All of us are... Well, my dad and my sister are atheists, and I'm agnostic, and my brothers are kind of in between atheist and agnostic. Like, they just kind of float back and forth. So, it's, it's a time. My poor mom is all like, where's your Christmas spirit? And they're like, there's no such thing as Christmas spirits. I'm just kidding. They're not that rude. But, well, my dad is, but that's a whole different story. He's crazy. PTSD, my friends. It'll do some crazy shit to you. I don't know Well, I mean, that's where it is now. So, yeah, this is where I decided it was going to go. Okay. I think, like, another silver ornament, like, here-ish. So, maybe I'll just put it on the same, the same level branch. Whatever. I don't care. I act like I care, but I don't. Maybe this is a video I should have done live. Like, I have all these videos that I probably shouldn't have done live, and then I have the one video that I probably should have done live, and I'm like, I'm just gonna make a video! I, I, and I switch between calling my videos videos, posts, and episodes. So, you know, good luck keeping up with me. I'm trying so hard to hit notes, and I know I'm struggling, like I can't hear it. I'm just so out of practice. Like, I used to karaoke um, every week and everything like that, but I just, I've not done anything like that in a while. So my throat is like, oh, oh, bitch, do you think you can sing still? No. My throat was that great before, as I keep reminding you guys, but I did have some talent and know how to hit some notes. Now it's just like, oh, oh, oh. Just kidding. Talentless hack. Screechy bitch. Sorry. Do, do, do. All right, and then like... Perfect. All right. I am satisfied with that side of the tree. And I think this is the last one I have actually put ornaments on, and then I am done decorating my tree. Fun! Let's put a, like, blurry one up here. I've already painted it for years, but I don't know if I can, I can try and manage it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. We're going to do our damn best. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, and the very next day, you gave it away to me, too, to save me from tears. I give it to someone special. Did I catch my tail? This is where I want to hang out. Let's see if I can curve this without ruining my tar and make a point for this little one with the hang. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. I have a Christmas tree, you guys! It's so cute! Oh my god! Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna like that on the front once I turn it though. I like it now, we can't hear it. Well, let's turn it right quick and find out. I was right, I hate it, so. <laughs> let's get rid of that. Let's just back here. I'm gonna hang it here instead. Let's see if that upturns what I need. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's much better. All right. It's funny too, because this side of the tree like, has no flowers, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. Um, do I want to put her? No, I want a silver 
this one. We'll do it here for later. Just didn't catch that thing. Christmas time. I think this is a hard video for me and why I keep making so much weird noise and you know singing is because I'm not doing a lot of talking directly to you guys. It's more a lot of activity. I might actually just cut all of the audio and overlay it with music. So you guys will never hear any of this. That's not true. I'm kind of lazy. If we want to get honest, that's not going to happen. You're going to hear all of this. You're going to suffer through it. I'm going to share it. So they're doing a Deadpool movie situation for Christmas, which I find amusing. I'm totally down for that to happen. I don't anything directly under it, so I think I'm going to reposition this branch here. I didn't notice that was the exact same ornaments. It's okay. I still think it looks good. I think it works. For me, it works. For me, it's a yes. I love these glittery ornaments so much. I'm going to get this one on. So you guys know what I watched the other day because I was watching, or rather listening to um, my favorite podcast now, um, and that's why we drink. And they mentioned Casper Meets Wendy, and I'm like, oh my god, I haven't seen that movie in forever. I almost forgot it existed. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to watch it because, you know, Failure Death is what's up. And it is like, re-watching it is completely different. Like, I don't remember a lot of the stuff that happened, or it happened differently from what I exactly remember. I know that's supposed to be like the Mandala effect or whatever, um, but I was just like weirded out. I was like, what the hell is this? Like, that's not how that happened, or that's not how they were dressed, or is that really what they look like? Um, kind of, the whole time I was watching it. But um, it was still a really nice, fun experiment. experience. And there's the front of my Christmas tree. Ta-da! Well, let's turn it on. Triple effect. Ta-da! So, but yeah. Um, maybe I'll do a watch with me. And, um, because, you know, that's one of the things that I said I want to do in the future. And we're going to, we're working on a lot of things. When I say we, I mean me. Mr. Dub does not help me with any of this. Um, I'm working on a lot of things. And I'm trying to get a lot of stuff, you know, situated, organized, and trying to, um, start new things. And make more age-appropriate content for everybody. Like, everybody can have a good time with me. It's, it's, like, this one is probably going to be one of those age-appropriate ones where, you know, I'll have it listed in the channel on both sides, I guess. I don't know how it's exactly going to work yet. I, now that I've done that, I kind of want to take a pattern of these over too bad, but I don't think they're sticking out right. I almost made it all in one container. Alright. So, there's my mini Christmas tree. Time to open my tree skirt. Like I said, later I might go back and write all these ornaments, like people's names, or fun sayings, or hashtags, or meme stuff. I don't know. It's a possibility. But um, if I do, it'll, or I might even just put like regular Christmas stuff, like joy and celebrate and Santa and things like that. But if I do, it's just going to be with a regular, old, um, uh, I have this face now, this here, um, um, metallic, uh, Sharpie kind of deal. Actually, I got them from the Dollar Tree, so they're metallic permanent markers, not technically Sharpie, because you know, those are name brand. But yeah. I'm going to treat those in. I'm going to put this off the side so I can turn this in. Oh, that looks really cool. This is metallic wrapping paper, so, ah, uh, yes, it's got a lot of sheen off of it. Yes. Ah, I love it. My no tree skirt. And so, you know, I can turn it on and I can hide the remote under the tree skirt. And I have my little train that's supposed to go around the bottom of my tree. I don't know that it's wide enough to actually go around the um, tree stand. I suppose I'll find out when we're trying to keep the green in the back because it's not supposed to be green in there, but there's a little bit of green on my stand, so I'm not right here. I think it's wide enough? Okay. We'll find out. Which, which side is out? This side has to be out. Okay. So it doesn't reach all the way out past my tree stand. I can always go buy another one and double the size of the tracks. Um, so it'll lay flat. But I'm not really even that worried about it because I'm not even sure this train does not wobble enough to go in a circle anyway. So let's test that out. But I still think it was a cute idea to add my uh, tree since I was going for like kind of a classic theme for my uh, Christmas. And you know, for a long while it was really popular to put. Did it not even connect? How the heck? What? Wait, well, that's a bullshit! <laughs> well, you know what? We're going to make you connect. Oh, where's that jump ring at? There we go. So we're going to add you with a jump ring to this one. Okay, you guys, I promise this is going to work. This is going to be worth the, the wait. Okay. Okay. So 
it does connect. Tell me how after I spent all the time connecting these through the jump ring, the, the latch that connects them is back here. Whatever, you know what, that's fine. Alright, it definitely stings, so let's put them on the track. It goes really fast, I don't know if it works. Oh, okay, kind of stings, but like, it won't stay on the track. Let's put it on, just make sure it's on the track. And... Oh, it actually took them on the track, cool. Nifty. But yeah, now that we discovered that this is not where this is supposed to connect. I guess so if you have other train bit pieces from this collection, that I don't know why Dollar Tree would have more than one bit, but, um, you know, if so, you can continue to play and add on. So yeah, that's how that's supposed to connect. It's a little hook, all right. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, let's try this again. Well, yes, so it kind of works, kind of doesn't. Either way, it's really fun to keep trying like a fucking idiot. But, um, I think the main problem is, is this doesn't wobble, it's too long. Like, if it was shorter, then maybe it would work a lot better. But, uh, either way, it looks cute in the theoretical design for my Christmas tree, so. Let's remove this track again. Okay, I'm gonna just off them all off. That's fine. And, put it back around. My thing. Oh, they spread my legs right quick, like a lady. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? Snap back into place. Oh, my hair is in my face. My amazing, beautiful rainbow hair that's actually real hair. And not synthetic hair. Cat could be white. I know all of my hair. All that in here. I can't tell the difference between anything. Now, I don't know why I'm so determined for that track to be connected because it's not like I'm worried about it actually running around the train, but you know, I just have aesthetics that way. see my Christmas tree with my train around it, and my cookies for Santa, and my reindeer. Right, turn on my lights. My train. Get back in there. Alright, train. Reindeer, and I need to put my stockings up, so they should be dry by now. Yeah, see? Mr. Jazz is kind of... It's iffy. Uh, that's right here? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I was going to put on the side. I can put it behind the tree, though, too. But I think that's a little too far away. I'm going to put it right here. No, I don't want to go this way from here, so... I'm gonna give you a second because I'm going to um finish putting these in here anyways. I was like, oh no, I just messed up things. Okay, there we go. We did it! Super cute! Ta da! It works really hard. I hope you like it. <laughs> I love it. I'm really excited. I think it's super cute. And then I can put my little gifts in here. My Christmas cards. And yeah. And if you guys send me any messages or post any notes below this, um, like Merry Christmas or Happy New Year or whatever you want to say or anything like that, anything you post in the comments below, I will put on our, I will uh, screenshot and print and put on the outside of my box so whenever you guys decide to do that or if you decide to do that or if you even made it to the end of this uh, video uh, <laughs> I might just put it in a um, a comment so you guys know as well so anybody who doesn't end the video or maybe just you know whatever there we go okay I'm so happy it's so cute I can't wait to show daddy <laughs> Oh, bye you guys. Bye guys. Bye, 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 bye.